Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Saturday, so Shabbat Shalom for those of you who celebrate today is the Sabbath. It is the 21st already, and it's 7.13 a.m. Yes, I've been up a while. <laughs> we got off schedule yesterday, so I had to take my dog out extra early today. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to share with you something that happened with one of our sisters who lives out west on the edge of a desert and likes to go out there to uh, yell as loud as she wants to to praise the Lord. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, she wanted, she told me this and she said, um, I'm just going to read it to you. And it's been a few nights ago now since I didn't have internet. I couldn't share it right away. It happened on September 16th. Okay, she wrote this. Um, I wanted to share something that happened about four nights ago. So this would have been around September 12th, I guess. I think anyone else might call me crazy. The dogs were upset and uneasy. Un or usually, they'd go out and bark if an intruder was walking by. Or in the alley. But Sharpay, after barking, came in to sit by me, afraid of something. I went out to see what had scared her with a flashlight. As it was as was dark. <laughs> I told her you're braver than I am, I would have never went out there. And when I went around the front of the motor home, to the right side, I saw a dark shape about the size of a basketball near the front tire. And as I kept the flashlight on it, it seemed to run down the length of the motorhome in my flashlight beam. But it was like smoke or just a blurry form, like roundish. And when it got to the rear wheel, where the wood is stacked, it just vanished right out of the flashlight beam. I shone it everywhere, but it was gone. It's not like Sharpay to not go out with me either, or be scared of anything. So, mystery, but I know... I saw a dark thing going along the ground. Yeah, it was a demon. Is what I told her it was a demon, no doubt. But even in the flashlight, I couldn't make out a body or anything. Weird, I know. It was like the color of dark smoke. Only way I can explain it. It wasn't I wasn't going to share, but maybe someone has had a similar experience. When I used to wake up paralyzed when younger, and she put in parentheses, or in my sleep sometimes, I'd see a dark shape coming toward my bed, and I couldn't yell or move, but it was pitch black in the form of a large man. But this, whatever it was, wasn't black like that. Oh, that had to be horrifying. Anyway, since I've learned to pray and call upon the name of Jesus our Savior, no more sleep paralysis like I had when I was younger and didn't know what was happening. Could it be that these things that prowl around that are usually not visible are becoming semi-visible veil being thinned I've heard it called or she, she said veil being thinned I've heard it called don't know just that I wasn't afraid and it ran from me. They don't like the light. They don't like light. 
either. Well, if it's true what I've heard, one thing about what they could be, can't prove it unless I could see one for myself. Well, I don't know what else it could be, but a demonic spirit. Anyway, she says, yesterday the dogs had a fit. So this was, let me see. Okay, so she was telling me that four days ago this happened, and then yesterday the dogs had a fit trying to get under the engine of the motorhome. So I started it, and a mouse ran out so fast, they didn't see it hightail out from under it at breakneck speed, right behind the wood pile. I had to laugh, as they were still sniffing around the engine, but that dark shape I saw was much bigger than a mouse. Oh, I got it. A beach ball sized. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Okay, that's it. I wonder if we'll be seeing... I wonder if we'll be seeing more things that go bump in the night watches. Watch for strange paw prints and scratch marks too. I've seen them in the desert and out in front in the sand or dirt where I park. We don't have sidewalks. Reminds me of Psalm 59. They come out at night. Many animals around here are coming up missing, disappearing. Cats and dogs. I shut their dog door at night now. Okay, love Crystal and the girls. That's her baby dogs. <coughs> Excuse me. And she says that her, her mommy, Carmel, that's what she calls her, uh, her older dog, Carmel. Well, she says she doesn't go out much anymore. She's not doing well at all. I think I'm going to lose her soon. Please pray for Carmel Kiss. She says her mother's name is Hershey Kiss. Chocolate Lab. I laugh out loud. The chip they put in her is killing her, along with old age and tumors from it. You'd think they could cut it out. Oh, I never leave them alone anymore and pray armor over them too. The blood of Jesus. Thank you and God bless you and your watchers and families. Okay, so I had told her, it sounds like demons to me. Remember that movie, The Gremlins? Yeah, you know Hollywood knows stuff. I never did see it all the way through, I told her. I don't think they were, I, I never did see it all the way through, I don't think. But they were about that size, if I remember. They rolled along the ground, and at first were kind of cute, as I remember it. Now, that's been a long time ago. But as I remember it, they were about basketball size or beach ball size. And didn't they roll around on the ground like that? Like a tumbleweed? Anyway, but later became ugly and vicious. Then I don't remember what happened. So I'm thinking I did not watch the whole thing. You shouldn't go out. I told her you shouldn't go out even when when your dog won't go out. Just pray and tell it to go away. I mean, what if it had been a coyote, I told her, or worse. A dog knows when it is something he cannot handle, or she. I told her she was brave and shouldn't have gone out there. I wouldn't have gone out there. I can rebuke demons from inside and... Praying for anything else just to leave. 
Okay. I told her I would make a video of it to warn and see if anyone else has heard of this. Um, I said, you know, when I rebuke demons, I sometimes say, go back to the desert where you belong. I had heard this before, and I don't know if y'all have, but when I cast demons out, I want to say, you know, if there are any demonic spirits present, I command you to leave and return to the desert where you belong. I don't know where I got that. I just remembered it. So I say that a lot, and I'm thinking, oh, there she is in, near the desert. And now, you know, she's reporting this. So if other people are saying that, there may be a lot of demons in the desert. Although, imagine they've been given jobs and they're busier in the cities now. But if people keep casting them into the desert, there they are. All right. And sometimes I say, I send them to the abyss, which I'm going to start doing that from now on. So, I got that from somewhere. Um, anyway, I told her to be careful. And um, the veil getting thinner. They still can't hurt the true children of God, however. We have nothing to fear. Okay, so that is Crystal's email from a few days ago. What is it today, I said? The 21st from five days ago. And I wanted to share that before I got it deleted. Okay, so maybe some of you can report strange goings-ons at your places. Or if not, be on the lookout for strange paw prints, scratch marks, things like that. And you just pray and keep your homes covered in the blood. And rebuke demons when you hear strange sounds. And like I was telling her, we don't have anything to fear. We are the children of God. Stay armored up. Keep the blood of Jesus over yourselves, your children, your family, your dogs, pets of any kind. All right? All right, I'm going to end it there. And I plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the Internet Connection, over each and every one of you and all of your devices. And with that, I'll say... Have a beautiful, blessed day or night, wherever you are, whenever you see this. All right, bye for now. I'll talk to you later.